After a long wait, the Vancouver Canucks finally found a fourth line that could be counted on to bring energy and excitement to the team. The trio of Tyler Mott, Juho Lamico, and Matthew Highmore proved to be a key part of that success. Let's dive into their journey and see how their trades shaped the Canucks. In a previous article, I discussed the need for a tough, hardworking line, and Mott, Lamico, and Highmore embodied just that. They played a simple game, forechecking hard, keeping the puck in play, and bringing relentless energy. No fancy moves, just old school, blue collar hockey. If you're a fan of gritty play, this was your line. Let's rewind and look at the trades that brought them to Vancouver. Tyler Motte a Jukin for Thomas Vanek. When Tyler Mott was acquired from the Columbus Blue Jackets in 2018, many questioned the trade, especially since it involved moving Thomas Vanek, who had 41 points that season. Initially, fans and analysts thought the return should have been more significant. However, Mott quickly proved his worth with his speed and penalty killing skills becoming a fan favorite for his hard work and leadership. His impact was immediate, with strong performances in the 2020 playoffs and the early 2021 season before injuries took their toll. Despite being traded to the New York Rangers in 2022, Mott's time with the Canucks left a mark, and he's now signed with the Detroit Red Wings for the upcoming season. Matthew Highmore for Adam Gaudet. Adam Gaudet, once seen as a bright prospect, struggled during the 2020-21 season, leading to his trade to the Chicago Blackhawks for Matthew Highmore. Gaudet had a tough time in Chicago and eventually found himself moving around the AHL. Highmore, on the other hand, impressed with his forechecking and penalty killing, fitting well into the Canucks lineup. Although he later signed with the St. Louis Blues, his contribution to the Canucks was notable during his time here. Juho Lammikko et Noah Julsen for Oli Juolevi The trade involving Oli Juolevi a former high prospect who didn't pan out in Vancouver, brought Juho Lamico and Noah Julson to the Canucks. Lamico brought solid play and physicality, surpassing expectations with seven goals and 15 points in his first season with Vancouver. Julson, while primarily a depth defenseman, showed promise as a reliable part of the blue line. The legacy of the motto line. The line of Mott, Lamico, and Highmore became a favorite under coach Bruce Boudreau, providing energy and effectiveness that other lines couldn't match. They were often the Canucks' best line in terms of forechecking and creating high-danger chances. As the Canucks move forward, they now have a new line to boast about with Dakota Joshua, Teddy Bluger, and Connor Garland, bringing similar energy with added offensive flair. What do you think, Canucks fans? Should the team look back fondly on the contributions of Mott, Lamico, and Highmore, or are you more excited about the new lineup? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all the latest updates on your Vancouver Canucks.